Hello guys, it's Chrissy Dreams and I'm back with another video. So, I'm cooking right now, but I'm going to be talking. So, if you hear anything in the background, that's me cooking. But I'm going to be um, talking about this story about Cannon Hannett's murder. This five-year-old boy from Wilson, North Carolina was killed by... A crazy deranged black man now um they're saying that it's fake press press releases on this story and that people are trying to say that the parents were in on this young boy's murder which is pretty ridiculous i don't know where they're even getting that that kind of evidence from but you gotta be aware of those posts and the police are saying to report it if you see any kind of post talking about the, the parents was in on it, reported, and um, those people will be handled within due time. Okay, so what had happened here is Little Ken, and he was riding his bike with his sisters, they said. And his dad said that he heard a shot from outside. Now, I think his sisters was either six or seven or seven and eight but they seen this happen to their brother so his his dad ran outside because he heard the shot and then he ran over to his son and he picked his son up and he seen that his son was shot in the head now his father's name is austin hannett it says the wilson times uh said that the boy had been playing with his two sisters outside when he heard a gunshot nearby. Hannett said he rushed outside and found his son lying on the ground. When he scooped the boy up in his arm, he realized his son had been uh, had a gunshot to the back of the head. So this little boy was executed, execution style, for no apparent reason, just riding his bike. And I I don't know what's wrong I don't know what's wrong with this dude but I'm telling you guys that's why it's a good idea for you guys to take a, a to read books on like face reading and reading uh like body language is very important because anybody like I can be sitting with somebody right now but if they give me a negative body language I can know that um something's not right with this person but a lot of people just think that people being nice and stuff and maybe this guy was nice but there could have been signs that the the father had missed when he came over for dinner and stuff and if he would have known about body language and reading faces he would have known that this guy was completely deranged and just crazy because just, I mean, he got to be crazy for somebody to invite you over their house and to bring you in knowing that you knowing that you got problems of your own and just helping you, um, talking to you and stuff like that, just being nice. And then you're going to shoot my son down like that is that's that's ridiculous, man. I can't even fathom it. Like, it's so crazy. And they're like people are out here saying that the parents had something to do do with it and that it just don't seem right for for them for the guy to just up and gun this uh little boy down but that's exactly what he did when you have cra crazy people do crazy things and that's exactly what this this uh this guy did you know a lot of people are saying oh it was um it was because he's oppressed i'm so hearing i'm so tired of hearing that crap Oh my god, I'm so tired of hearing that crap. But I like this salmon because this salmon is like really it's skin. I like the salmon and skin. So um they said that um, after the dude did it, that he ran in his house to hide from the police, but they got him. But I just would like to know what was going through his mind when he was when he was even thinking about doing this. Like, what was he? What was going through his mind? Was he just like in the house and was like, you know what? 
I'm tired of this. I'm tired of these kids always riding their bikes around, man. I'm going to just go out there and shoot one. What's, is that, like, really what he was thinking? Like, the whole situation is crazy to me, guys. Because I've never seen anything or heard anything like this happening before. I mean, that that's just crazy. Like, you killed a kid for no apparent reason. And then now everybody wants us to feel sorry for this guy. Like, come on. You guys got to do better. Because believe me, if this was your kid, you guys won't be saying this crap. I think a lot of people um, are getting confused and mixed up because of the Casey Anthony story. And they're trying to, they're trying to, now they're trying to say, oh, oh, well, I think the parents had something to do with it. That's crazy. That is crazy. Those parents are grieving. And you guys are just making it worse when you say stuff like that. You just make it worse for the family. Like, who wants, who, who wants to hear that you're a mother and you know you love your child and he just got gunned down, shot execution style in the head. And then you guys are saying I had something to do with my own kid's murder. How hurtful is that? And then they talk about all the family trying to get money and this, that, and the third. Man. Some people are ridiculous. Because you know what I'm saying? Y'all didn't say that about George Floyd's family. Ain't nobody jump up and say, oh, the family, they just trying to get money. But when this happened to this white family, y'all talking about, oh, they just trying to get money and stuff. Like, come on. So let me, um, let me see what else they said. So it says a neighbor, 25-year-old Darius Nathaniel um, Sesums, 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 is charged with first-degree murder and Cannon's death. Hannick told the newspaper that he and Sesum were friendly and he al always checked in with Sesum's parents who lived next door. Wow. Hannah said his family is grateful for the commu community support, but he's been um, disturbed by social media posts that suggest race was a factor in Cannon's death. This is not rape. This is not. This is no racial issue. Austin Hannah told Weston Wilson Times, Cannon was white and Sesums is black. It didn't matter what color, male or female, he just had that love and joy in his heart, he said. He loved everyone. Sesum's parents said they believed their son was on drugs and having hallucinations at the time of the shooting. But still they don't have they don't they don't really that's still I don't care what he had in his system. I don't I don't care. That still doesn't excuse his behavior of killing this little boy. I don't care what he had in his system. Ain't y'all the ones that always say when they talk about white people, it's always um, they going through mental or drug abuse. Ain't that what y'all always say? So it doesn't matter to me whether the guy was on drugs whether Darius was on drugs or whatever. That doesn't justify what he did at all. I mean, this is crazy. Five years old and shot in the head execution style. And this is the guy right here, um, Darius Sessoms. Only 25 that did this shit. So let me read a little of the fraudulent posts that are going on. It said, "Just to be clear, we do not find we did not find any evidence to back the version of events the the family has been claiming. The parents of Cannon claim their son had been shot at random for riding his bike into the neighbor's yard. This is not inaccurate. The version of events that suspect gave the police." After his arrest was that Cannon, 
Cain, his father, had invited him in over early in the day to do drugs. Oh, my God. Um, dang, I can't read this because that stuff is written on top. Go on. They, they got into an altercation after getting high. Darius claims that he struck Cannon by a by accident via the stray bullet while aiming for the child. So this is fraudulent anyway, but I can hardly even read. However, as we however, as with any violent crimes committed against children, Cannon's parents, Austin Hannick and Bonnie Wild Wilder Dale has been placed under formal investigation under order of the Attorney General Josh Steen. So th this is a fraudulent, I don't know who wrote this, but this whole situation was crazy. And I want to send my condolences out to um Cannon's mom and his dad. I hope that you guys you you pro I hope that you guys can find peace, but you probably never will after after this horrible incident because it, it never gets better. I mean, it I'm not talking about it never gets better. It never gets better thinking about it. You know what I'm saying? But if you have a belief in God. He'll help you through it, but this is just a terrible case. Look, he was so cute. He was a cute little boy. And this just keeps happening and happening. Ain't nobody doing nothing. They sitting here killing our kids day after day after day. And, and, and we still have guns. And people talking about, oh, no, you can't take our gun rights away. Well, then, um, this sen senseless violence that y'all so-called say y'all fighting against is going to continue. Because nobody's, people don't fight no more. Everybody knows that people ain't fighting no more. They going home and getting guns and they shooting people. They don't want to wrestle and tussle in the street no more. It's just get a gun and shoot. So as long as we have these guns, we're always going to hear about these stories with kids being killed. And, and 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 just regular people, adults being killed. I know y'all heard about um, the one where the lady was pregnant and she she was having an altercation with somebody and her daughter came in to intervene and her daughter was shot dead in the parking lot. So it, it's just it's gonna keep going on and on and on. So I'm just tired of everybody saying that you you want all this violence to go away, and y'all always saying, "Well, the guns ain't, ain't the problem. It's the people." Well, it's what you gonna do about it? Then if if the guns ain't the problem and it's the people that shooting the gun, what what you gonna do about it? You gonna you 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 guys are giving the people the guns first, and then when they fire off the guns, oh, it ain't the guns. It's the people. So so what do you do then? What are you going to do about it? As long as you keep giving them the guns, they're going to keep shooting. So it really don't matter what you're saying. That the, the people is the ones that do it, not the guns. Man, it's both. Because you keep giving these people these guns. You know how many people have guns right now and they not, not, they, they not even lawfully registered to have them? They go get other people to get them the guns for them. So I'm just tired of it. it. Ain't never gonna end until we get these guns off the street. This shit ain't never gonna end. It's just gonna continue and continue and continue. I don't wanna hear anything about oh well this that and that. I ain't trying to hear that crap. Cause even though it's the people that's killing, you gotta go to the source of how they're being able to kill people, which is guns. So you got to take the guns out of the hands. Bottom line. Yeah, we know a gun can't go outside and start shooting people. We know it takes a person to shoot the gun. But as long as you're giving them, giving them the power to do it, it's going to keep happening. 
And this is a sad, man, this situation, this is a sad situation, man. A sad situation. Like, come on. A five-year-old, and then you shot him execution style. That means this man walked up to this little boy, put the barrel of that gun in that little boy's head, and shot him. Hey, can you imagine his sisters? Them, them little girls gonna need his sisters or siblings. They're gonna need therapy for this. Can you imagine you playing with your little brother and somebody just shooting his brains out right in front of you? That man don't know. That's why these people don't understand when you kill, when you you think that you when you kill one person, it's just hurting that one person. No, you hurting the whole family. You hurting a whole family of people. Oh man. Mm -mm -mm. I just don't get it. I I don't get people. I mean, just look at him. Look look how crazy he look. There's no way and on earth I would ever invite this man to my house. Ever. And that's why I don't invite people to my house anyway. It's better. It's better to just see your friends. You know what I'm saying in the street. Hey, girl, bye. Then inviting them over your house because you you might be. They thought that this man was a friend. They thought this man was a friend, and look what he did. You can't even trust somebody that you thought was a friend. I mean, um, he they live beside this man for eight years. Eight years, you would think you would have some kind of trust for somebody. But, man, I'm telling y'all, this ain't never going to stop, man. It's just going to keep going on and on and on. There will be more cases of more kids being killed like there has been in Chicago. Um, Ohio is getting really bad. I've seen a lot of stories coming out of there recently. Ohio is getting really bad. New York is getting bad again. I mean, it's just crazy. But um, I just wanted to shed some light on this story. Uh, rest in peace, Cannon. You didn't deserve this, baby. You really didn't. I'm, I'm so sorry this happened to you. But guys, if you haven't yet, please like and subscribe my channel and share this video with people that need to see it. Um, I'm about to finish up my dinner and I I need to watch me. I need I probably watch some Martin because right now, you know, I'm 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 just in disbelief about this this situation. I just I can't wrap my head around this at all. I really can't. You guys have a wonderful and blessed day. I love you guys. Always thinking about you. Until next time, this is Chrissy Dreams. Have a nice and wonderful day. Bye-bye.